Uh, Tony comes in and I told him, uh, hey man, they're, they're dispatching us out to Alameda and Rosecrans. Uh, we got a traffic accident out there and uh, they want us to handle it. So he goes off, you know, F this, F that, you know, he's pissed off already because he doesn't want to handle a traffic accident. We get on out there and believe me, man, it was, uh, it was a grenade. Um, and uh, we saw that uh, truck uh, with two Mexicans, two male Latins. I guess I can say Mexicans because I am Mexican. Um, just plowed into uh, a car full of um, ladies. And there must have been about three or four ladies in the car. One of them was ejected about 25 feet. She was dead. Uh, another girl in there uh, crushed in the back seat. She was screaming for me for help. And remind you, this is my first day on the job. Couldn't believe what was happening, what was happening before my eyes. Tony's yelling at me for crowd control. Other officers are, you know, trying to also do crowd control at the middle of the intersection. I look over at the truck that plowed into this uh, white little pickup or little truck, little car. The truck, uh, two, like I said, two male Latins sitting on the side wearing their cowboy hats. They're deuce. They're drunk, you know, and they, they can barely stand. Uh, I look further into the car, and there's a, um, like I say, uh, a female black in the back seat. She's wedged in there tightly, you know, grasping for her, li her last um, breath and asking me to help her, grasping for me. Underneath the car was another female black. She's grasping for me also, grasping for her last air, a breath, and she's reaching out for me to help her. You know, remind you, what am I, 22 years old? Something like that. And uh, new rookie on the job the first night. And well, she died, the gal in the back got taken off to um, Martin Luther King Hospital. The other gal that got thrown from the car, she died. Uh, the driver was crushed. Uh, she ended up dying. So I think we had a, well, a deuce TA, uh, multiple deaths. And sad day to, to see that. I know we arrested the guys both for deuce. We took them, um, um, uh, we had a detective in, um, in um, upstairs that came out. I guess he took them down to um, uh, for toxicology reports, you know, blood, breath, or urine. One of the three, I don't remember what they got, but, uh, you know, I know it finally went to, to court. A while, it took a while, maybe five to seven years. Oh yeah, that long, you know, postponement, postponement. And, um, but they eventually got convicted and possibly did some time. It was a heck of a night, man, learning the different paperwork, you know, writing down statements of all the witnesses that I, I took down, um, and just thrown into the fire pit in, in the city of Compton, you know, and uh, it, was a, it was a heck of a learning experience, you know.